Alright guys, welcome back to Let's Play Rune Factory 2, A Fantasy Harvest Moon. I don't remember everything we did in the last episode, as it's been half a week over that, and I'm a bit sleepy, but I needed to record, I just need it for my soul. <laughs> what I do remember is that it's actually Mayor Byron's birthday today. So, in a little bit, we'll go and we'll pick up the uh, gift for him. For now, time to farm! All right, we're done. I was kind of hoping she'd be here. Sadly, she's not, so we'll just water for now. I actually don't think I have an Aqua Marine on me, if memory serves. Yeah, I'm not seeing an Aqua Marine, so it's probably a good thing that I didn't see her already. Emerald! Aquamarine and a, you know, arrow to the back of my head. Junk, but a skill up at least. Junk and nothing. Gotta remember to use the Warhammer. Gold. Eh, copper. That's fine. Iron's fine. Haha, <laughs> water crystal. Silver. I think I've gotten everything. Oh. oh, no. Got an amethyst off that one and another water crystal. And scrap metal, which is another item. Diamond. Should probably ship some of the stuff that I, you know. Another diamond. And another item that I have to toss. Unfortunate. Get got, kiddo. Is farming fun, Kyle? Good morning. Good morning, Ray. You heard the story about a ghost walk in front of you, okay? Come on in, the water's fine. We're going to go. Good morning. You know that Max over at Herman's place? I wonder if he likes anyone right now. I have no idea. Yeah, me neither. Sim, salabim. Sim, 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 salabim. Tomorrow will be rainy. Uh, I mean, tomorrow would be a good day to test that then. Okay. You can have my Aqua Marine. Hey, listen, Kyle, I have to tell you, I, uh, oh, never mind. Monsters live in the forest beginnings, right? Whatever things they make would have pretty, would have to be pretty rugged, don't you think? Well, it certainly sounds like there may be unusual things. Kyle, if you ever get a chance to go, would you get something for me? That's my only request. If you insist, but that's only if I actually go. Thanks, Kyle. If you decide to go, let me know right away. To the Forest of Beginnings, that place that humans can't go to- what? Seafood Doria. Doria that contains the best of the sea. Packed with seafood and rice, so it's sure to fill you up for 4,000 G. Yeah. Uh, I can actually sell to her, so why not? Sell these sardines. Sell this iron ore. And this iron ore. And this copper. And these grapes that the duck wanted. And, uh... Sure, the silver too. That should be good. Oh. Wild. Neat. Morning. When's your birthday, Kyle? I don't remember that either. Of course, well you can remember mine instead if you like. It's the 25th of winter. Good to know. I'm really fast runner. Even you can't beat me, Kyle. Hmm. You know who can beat you? Strawberry. Good morning. Thanks, I sure feel like it. Jake has the strong dislike of humans. I wish he would be that way. Is that right? He's a good elf deep down. 
Is that right? Ah, uh, good morning. Do you, do you pay attention to how you dress? Me? Well, you see. Yeah, I read that. Morning. Ah, uh, good morning, Kyle. I really hate weeds. They're so persistent, and they get everywhere, and they're so, so ugly. Uh, I find them deeply disturbing. Really? Interesting. Well, you're lucky I'm not a dick. Thank you. This must be proof of warrior. Is it for me? Really? Thanks. Good morning. Ah, good morning. Good morning. My guilty little pleasures, Charm Blue. I love the aroma. Hmm, interesting. Come on in, the water's fine. We're going to go where everybody knows everybody. There's one thing that can be said for absolutely everyone. They have a birthday. You may not be able to remember if you have a birthday. Yeah, okay. Good morning, Kyle. If you see anything odd or out of the place in town, please let me know right away, Kyle. This is the official request as mayor. Yes, mayor. On duty as always. So alone and- Oh! <gasps> well, this is a coincidence! It's actually my birthday today! This is a great present, thank you! I'm a good person, sometimes. <laughs> morning. Don't you have anything to do? Don't you have something else you should be doing besides talking to me? Gift! That's my favorite, thank you. Hello, oh, good afternoon, Kyle. I'm really happy to see you. This is kind of embarrassing, but I have a really bad habit. I'm careful when I'm in front of other people, so it's not that bad, but when I'm alone with my thoughts, before I know it, my knees start shaking. Existential dread! make it a habit of bathing the warm rays of the sun in the morning. It makes me feel awake and refreshed. You should try it sometime. No, I refuse. Hi, Hi Kyle. Kyle, what do you plan to do in the future? Well, I've never really given it much thought. I want to continue to run my bathhouse. I can enjoy a luxurious hot bath anytime I like, so I can't imagine ever quitting. What? Hello, human. I hate milk. Don't even think about bringing me any. Hello, Kyle. I don't like tomato. It's hard to cut through. Good to know. This is very nice. That's for me, thank you. Hi. Ah, uh, Kyle, hello. I'm Kyle. What do you think of Fern? I think she's cute. Thanks, Kyle. Um, you're a really handsome man. Um, Vern is so happy. <laughs> okay, well, thank you. You're very cute, too. Of Honor West End. Oh, what is she doing down there? Oh, I guess she's here for this quest or something? Did you need something, Yue? Oh, Kyle, I've been waiting for you. Do you remember how I've been working on making my own kimono? Yeah, I remember. I hoped you collect some colored grass for it. Thanks to your help, I was able to try out a lot of different colors. I finally completed my trial run. Congratulations, Yue. Here's this one. What do you think? Wow, it's amazing. Don't hold back giving me all your thoughts on it. If you have any comments or suggestions, I'd love to hear them. Hmm. Well, um, I don't really know much about clothes, so I couldn't really say if there's anything wrong with it. Sorry, I'm not really much of a help. Oh, well, at least you're honest with me. Oh, that's right, there is someone who knows a lot about fashion. Oh, are you talking about Julia? Yes, I'm sure she'd be able to come up with plenty of good advice for you. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. She'll know better than anybody. And... Hi! Such a lovely day! <laughs> Julia, do you have a moment? Hmm? Oh, hi there, Kyle. What's it? What, what is it? I have a small favor to ask of you. That's not like you, Kyle. What do you need? Well, I was wondering if you'd take a look at the kimono that Yue just finished making. I don't really know a lot about clothing myself. 
but I'm sure you'd be able to give her some good advice. I'd be glad to, so she made a kimono. Let's see it. See you, A. She's gonna help. Thank you, Julia. Where is it? Where is it? Hmm. Oh, really? Oh, in here. What do you think, Julia? Oh, it's cute! And it's got such a pretty color to it. I love the short length, too. I want one for myself. You did a really nice job. Really? Ah, thanks, Julia. I know these are pretty much the same voice, but I'm my voice is a little bit shot. I've always been fascinated by kimonos. It's really cute, isn't it? Now I feel like trying on one, too. Really? Oh, I'm glad you like it. Would you like to buy it? I'll even give you a special discount. Really? How much would it be? For you, I'd cut the price from 50000 all the way down to 30000 Oh, that's expensive. Kimonos aren't cheap, are they? Well, maybe later after I've saved up some more money. Really? I think it's a good price. You do? I had no idea Komodos were so... serious. Well, next time then. Yeah, next time. Well, I need to get back to work. Bye. Thanks, Julia. You really boosted my confidence. I'm glad I could help. Julia really liked your kimono, and if she says she likes it, you know it has to be good. I feel a lot better now. Now I can sell a lot of these. Thank you too, Kyle. It was your idea to talk to Julia. Why didn't I think of making my own my own products earlier? I'm going to make so much money. I hope you can sell a lot of them. If I do, I'll have to do something to thank you and Julia. But until then, this will have to be hold you over. A miso eggplant. <laughs> You're always such a big help. I'll let you know if I need anything else. Yeah. <laughs> I think I can do good business with this. Thank you. I appreciate the food. Please capture a monster. You look, you look to be in bright spirits today, Kyle. You've come about the bulletin board, right? Yep, I was thinking that I'd like to help you out. <laughs> Everything's going exactly to plan. Huh? Well, who else would accept such dangerous work, Kyle? Uh, dangerous? Hey, don't look so nervous. You'll be fine. I've never met anyone who can handle monsters as well as you can. Anyway, the monster I want you to catch for me is called the Wooly, and it lives in Trieste Forest Spring Clearing. You can collect small fleece from it, and I need that small fleece no matter what. So I want you to go and catch one for me, okay? Understood. I'll get it done. Thank you. Once you've caught it, collect the small fleece from it and bring it back to me, please. Got it. I prepared a reward of 10,000 G for you. So yeah, we weren't quite out of the money yet. Okay, see you soon. Oh, and one more thing. The wooling only comes out at night. Got it. In that case, I'll head to the catch it after sunset. I believe I still have small fleece back at the house. So, I do. Thank you, this is perfect. Now that I have it. Rosalind, what are you going to use the small fleece for? Yes, I think I can tell you now. Um, this is embarrassing to say, but I, uh, I'm the shortest person in the family. I've been wearing high heels to seem taller than I really am. You've been keeping the secret? Yeah, I have, but these shoes, as you see, are getting quite worn out. Because this pair is almost ready to fall apart, I've been trying to find a replacement. Unfortunately, this style of heels is no longer being produced. It started to look like I would never be able to buy another pair from a store. Finally, I went to buy her and asked him to use his connections to find a collector willing to part with one of her pairs. But the one collector who's willing to part with her pair is asking a ridiculously high price. I see. But if I could just get my hands on the right materials, I could repair these shoes myself. You could? That's when I thought of a new plan. If I put requests from the materials on the town's bulletin board, I knew that you'd get those materials for me, Kyle. I was sure that I could repair my shoes with your help. And the small fleece was one of those materials, right? Yeah, and thanks to your strength, I finally be able to find to get that small fleece. What happened with the collecti collector you contacted? I have already sent her a letter turning down her offer. Thankfully, she was understanding, except my sudden cancellation without objection. I'm sure you've guessed by now, Kyle, haven't you? You mean that was the secret document you had me deliver to Byron? 
Correct. Of course, you had it all figured out, didn't you? D I think that was her. <laughs> yes, I did. No? Okay, I don't know. But my plan only worked because you came through for me, Kyle. I'm glad I could count on you. Oh, no, it was nothing. You're making me embarrassed. Please take this 10,000 G as a token of my gratitude. 10,000 frickin' G. That is a huge amount of money. Now it's time for you to patch up these shoes. I think I may be able to add some flowers to the design should complement the fen and a few of them. Thank you so much. You're a lifesaver. Aww. <laughs> You're short. Uh... Hey, Kyle. <coughs> <coughs> wow. Okay, no. Hey, Kyle, do you think I can get you to talk to Jake for me? Jake? Sure, what about? Well, nothing particular. He has this intense dislike of humans, but I've been thinking maybe he might open up to you? Okay, I don't know how it'll go, but I'll give it a shot. I mean, recently he's been making me run to an island where it's dangerous and collect- I mean, nothing happened. Thank you, Kyle. Alright. What do you want, human? Um, I think we should talk. I don't have anything to say to you. Well, um, are you sure? We can talk about whatever you're interested in. Listen, you've been spending a lot of time with Cece lately, haven't you? I'm only gonna say this once. You better keep your hands off her, human. She's not for you. Jake, do you like Cecilia? What does that matter, human? Cece's a half-elf, just like I am. She doesn't belong with one of your kind. What are you talking about? There are plenty of elves that have married humans. A marriage between an hum elf and a human? I can't accept that. So you're saying you can't accept Cecilia either? I mean, she's the daughter of a human and an elf. And so are you for that matter. Are you saying you can't don't even accept the marriage of your own parents? Just keep away from Cece, or else. Okay. Stay away from Cece, got it, human. Good talk. Glad to see you're a lot more open. Ah. Thanks for talking to Jake for me. Sure, but I don't know how much it helped. Oh, he won't change overnight, I know, but none of the other boys in town will even talk to him. I thought maybe if you two talked to each other, you might become friends? Sorry for asking you to do something like this, but please, see what you can do to get closer to him. Okay, I'll do everything I can to get him to talk to me. Thank you, Kyle. I always knew you were a good person. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, Kyle. You seem as energetic as ever. Thanks. I sure feel like it. What do you want to do when you're older, Kyle? I haven't decided on anything. Right now, I'm just enjoying working the land. What about you, Cecilia? I want to build a town where humans and monsters can live together in peace. <clears> hmm. <throat> Neat. Hmm. I think it's only fitting that we do Jake's next quest now. What? <sighs> where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Where is Jake? Where is he? No, but seriously, like, where is he? Oh, there you are. Did it say it in the description I just didn't read it or something? I don't know. What are you doing here? Uh, I saw your request on the bulletin board. I see, so you've come to let me beat you around a bit. What? I'm gonna give you a chance to fight me, one on one. You've gotten a little bit too confident lately, human. It's time to show you what true power looks like. Overconfident? Who, me? Enough talk, human. This won't be settled by words. Are you ready, human? Wait. Don't shame yourself further, even tr Even further by trying to run away, human. Let's do this. I guess if there's no other choice. There isn't. Now it's time to fight. Alright, I'm ready. Also, Cecilia, hey, can you try to get close to him and talk to him? Me? Okay. Proceeds to try to get the crap beaten out of me by him, and I'm like, What? Cecilia, what have you done? <laughs> oh, Jake, what are you doing out here? And 
you're with Kyle, too. Hello, Cecilia. What are you two doing? Cece, me and Ky Kyle and I are gonna have... are in the middle of having a duel. Please stay out of it. A duel? Forget about that nonsense and come give Egan a hand. He's been looking for you, Jake. Oh, he has? Well, if you say so, Cece, I'd better go help. Hey, human, we'll have to pro postpone the duel. I'll let you go for now. You should thank Cece for saving your life. I'm sorry that Jake is giving you so much trouble, Kyle. No, don't worry about it. He would have died. Well, we better get going. Jake, let's go. Egan's waiting on us. Hmm. <laughs> And they left. She's really got him in the palm of her hand. Well, at least I have to fight him. Yeah. That was the entire quest, was me figuring out where he was and then that. Good afternoon. Ah, oh, good day. Do you pay attention how you dress me? Well, you see I'm all in stain remover. Oh, if I spill any food on my shirt, I can use my stain remover to take care of it on the spot. That's useful. Um... Hey, Julia. Hey, Julia, I saw the bulletin board. There's something you wanted to talk to me about. Um, how to do her voice, um... Oh, Kyle. Oh, oh, Kyle. 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 I've been waiting for you. Okay, so... You know that I'm really into dieting and beauty and stuff, right? Well, I was thinking it would be nice if people... Maybe people around here put just a tiny bit more care into how they look. But I'm thinking that maybe people around here don't know the first thing about beauty. Okay, so... Her request was more body positivity. This is almost the opposite. Where she's being like, hey, these people aren't taking care of themselves. They're, they're just, you know, happy with how they look. How dare they? So, I realized that maybe I should just go ahead and lighten everyone on the subject. Uh-huh. So it's a little sudden, but I figured that maybe you could help me with the first step on my beauty promotion plan. Mm-hmm. Okay, Cal, let's get into the tub. What? I don't think I'm ready for that. <laughs> oh, you thought I meant we were going to take a bath together. No, no, it's not like that at all. Get your mind out of the gutter. After you get into the tub, I'm going to come and supervise you. Um, what exactly do you mean by supervise? Well, if you want to be beautiful, you need to take really long baths. So you're going to challenge yourself to stay in there for a long, long time. Sound good? Honestly, I've never really spent all that much time in the bath. Well, I'm sure you'll find some way to manage. This is a good chance for you to stop looking like such a farmer. Mm, so I guess I can't really get out of this, can I? Of course you can't. Okay, get ready for bath time. I hope it's... I, bleh, it's awfully hot in the bath. I hope I don't get overheated. You'll be fine. You're, you're tough, right? I'm going to die. Okay, now commencing Operation Extended Bath Time. Okay, now commencing Operation Extended Bath Time. Good luck, Kyle. Okay, I don't feel so good about this, though. It'll be fine. I'm here with you the whole time. If it gets to be too much, just say something. Okay. <coughs> this is getting kind of boring. Let's talk about something. Mm, okay. Well, I picked this really big vegetable earlier. That topic is boring me already. Stop. Boy, that's pretty harsh. Um, okay, so you were wearing very... You always wear very interesting clothing, Julia. What does that mean? Are you trying to tell me you dress weird? No, no, it's not that. Your clothing's just very different from what I see everyone else wearing. It stands out, that's all. Ah, uh, well, I make it a point to always be on the cutting edge of fashion. But why do you start dressing like that in the first place? Well, I mean, because it's cute, and I guess I just wanted to look a little different from everyone else. You could say I always wanted to create an image for myself. Don't you just... Don't you sometimes just want to do things a little bit differently from everyone else, Kyle? You know, Mr. Farm Boy who runs around just cutting down monsters and befriending them and... 
Yeah, honestly, you're a very good case of somebody who's just weird. <laughs> Maybe you don't get it. I guess I just figured that if I looked like everybody else, nobody would pay attention to me. And then everyone would forget about me. So I wanted to distinguish myself as much as possible. Dieting, putting so much energy into my image, it was also people would notice me. I get lonely more easily than you'd think. Uh, wait, why am I telling you all this? I'm such an idiot. Kyle, forget everything I just said. This conversation is over. From now on, don't go bringing up such personal things. Um, actually, Julia, you kind of just started talking about it, but... I'm surprised to hear that's how you feel. I mean, it's cute that you're such a- that you're a little insecure sometimes. You're such an idiot, just shut up! What are you even talking about anyway? <laughs> uh, Julia, do I still have to stay in this bath? Duh, of course you do! Oh, um, I'm not really sure how much longer I could take. You already at your limit? Well, you're not as tough as I thought you were. No, it's not that, it's just, uh... Just tough it out a little longer, okay? You haven't even been in there for half an half as long as I usually am. Da da da! Uh, you must be tough. Can't take this much longer. Thud. Hey, Kyle, pull yourself together! Oh no, I have to get him out of there quick! And that day, she saw way too much. Huh? Huh? Did I? She dressed me. Oh no. Ah, you're awake. You scared me. You got dizzy and passed out. I was so worried about you. Uh, yikes. I'm sorry. Looks like it caused you to worry. But gosh, I can't believe that you passed out after only that long. <laughs> but, Julia, maybe it wasn't the best idea to make me stay in the bath so long like that. Mm, yeah, I guess it wasn't. Sorry. Well, I'm okay now. So I guess it's fine, but Julia, maybe these laws of beauty that you're trying to promote, well, I'm not so sure anyone can actually follow them. They seem kind of tough. Well, if everyone passes out, it'll be trouble for me for sure. I suppose that's what I'll take from this experiment. An experiment? So you just tricked me into being your guinea pig. <laughs> you shouldn't trick people like that. Sorry. <laughs> Well, uh, by any rate, do you actually follow such a strict plan every day? Of course, nothing's more important than beauty. You say it's important, but if you destroy your body in the process, aren't you kind of missing the whole point? I suppose so, but still, if I don't follow my strict plan, my clothes won't fit anymore. Boy, worrying about beauty so much is tough. I understand, just please don't overdo it. Yeah, yeah, I got it. I hope you do. Maybe my beauty promotion plan was a little much. I'll have to think about it some more. But for now, thanks for your help. Also, Kyle, thanks for everything today, and I'm sorry. That was a long one. I guess my laws of beauty are a bit too tough for the average person. A little bit. <laughs> I've decided I'm no longer going to be using the four-leaf clover trick. Roslyn should be up pretty high at this point, and if she's not at max, then she's pretty dang close to max. So, I'm fine with just accepting this and actually doing this quest today. After a long time, we're, you know, we're up all night to the sun, we're up all night to get fun. We're up all night to get some, we're up all night to get lucky. We've seen all that before, so if you want to read it, just, you know, let it play on screen. So there is a time, there is a reason for me doing this when I'm doing this. I was considering, you know, how many episodes I want this part of the game to last. There will be big changes later in the game when certain story stuff happens, but I'm trying to consider all that, trying to figure out when I want certain things done by. Because of that, I just kind of thought about it and I went, Okay, let's say I do a video a day for every uh, thing, right? And I have to do each bachelorette each of those days. 
on different uh, quests. Upstairs, probably. Uh, that still means that I have to do so many of Mana's quests. That means it's going to be a minimum of that many days. She's not upstairs. Okay. So I just got to figure out how many days I want this to last. Rosalind will be up in no time. I'm going to be spending an entire year on this, yes, but like, you know, how many days do I want to be on screen? How many days do I want to cover certain things, you know? Where does Mana go? What's Mana's schedule? Oh, I just realized what time it is. Mana, you're doing your job, thank you. Hey, Mana. It's been a while since you asked me to get this, but here. You found the Voileaf Clover! Thank you! Uh, thanks, I'm so happy! Maybe Alicia's reading was right after all. Reading? Ah, uh, nothing, nothing. <laughs> thanks, here's Tuner G in return. Tuner G. I also give you 100 logs, too. I'm sure you can use them for something. 100 logs, or lumber would be more accurate, but whatever. Thanks, I hope I can count on you again if I need some help. I can always count on you, Kyle. Which reminds me, um... Yep, I have sticks on me. Now I've got 1,286 wood. What even?! Actually, wait. Why am I carrying this around? Miso eggplant. Miso added to the roasted eggplant has a mellow, distinguishing taste. Awesome. It's been a long day without you, my friend. So currently my goal is to work on the Bachelorettes as much as possible. Every day I'm going to be trying to do every Bachelorette quest that pops up. And then I'll spend my extra time just working on the rest of the people. Because I'm already done with a few of them. <laughs> For now, of course. Story stuff will unlock more stuff later. Hey, Dorothy. Ah, Kyle, you came. You see, I've got a bit of a problem. Recently, there's been a lot of times when I've been looking for Cammie around town and can't find her. I think she's going to the forest. There are monsters in there. It's too dangerous. But she won't listen to me when I tell her that. I've tried, but it's no good, so... Could you try talking to her, Kyle? I'm her older sister, I know, so I don't like to ask. I see. Cammie can be pretty wild, it's true. I'll try talking to her. Thank you so much. Ah! Cammie! Oh, wait. Please try to warn Cammy not to go into the forest anymore. She won't listen to me. Alright, let's go stop a small child from being wooly food. Oh, what is it, Kyle? Cammy, I hear you've been going to the forest. How do you know that? I go there sometimes for adventures. There are monsters there, and it's dangerous. You should stay away from there. Dorothy's been worried. She has? But I'll be fine. I'm a good runner, so I can run away from any monsters. Even if you're a fast runner, it's still dangerous. If a monster snuck up on you or you twisted your ankle... Okay, okay, I understand. I'll try not to go to the forest alone anymore, okay? Good, good. Okay, good. When I feel like going, I'll ask you to go with me, okay, Kyle? Well, I'd like you to stay away from the forest altogether, but... If anything happens, you'll rescue me, won't you, Kyle? Oh, Raguna... <laughs> Cece, th so this is where you were. Are you hurt? Flashbacks. Flashbacks! I'll do my best, but it'd be a lot better if you tried to... S I'll do my best, but it, uh, I'd... It'd be a lot better if you tried to stay out of danger in the first place. Okay, I understand. Good. It looks I've gotten through to her. So try not to play near the forest. Okay, bye-bye! I talked to Cammy like you asked, Dorothy. Thank you. Did she listen to you then? Well, I think she might have. She paid attention, at least. Thank you, Kyle. As I thought, there's a lot I can learn from you. Let me thank you, Kyle. Here, please, take this. Glazed yam. Thank you. If you need me for anything else, just let me know. There's a lot I can learn from you, Kyle. Alright. 
Glazed yam. Fried yam glazed with sweet honey. Fun to eat and a very popular snack. Haha! -ha! Shipping! I need your thoughts on something. I want your honest opinion on something. This can only go poorly. My honest opinion is dumb. Hey Kyle, there's something I need to talk to you about. Sure, what is it? You know how I tell love fortunes, right? And they always come true, right? No comment. You might not know this, but sometimes fortune tellers try to read their own fortunes too. Really? Of course, and sometimes we even try to read our own love fortunes. Okay. And I try to read my own fortune. My love fortune. Right? What do you think I saw? Uh... By an average guy. You know, in a lot of ways, average is the best. It's just not very thrilling. Uh, by a foreign prince. A foreign prince sounds nice, but from which country? If it's the prince of the empire, then no way. You get pro pr proposed to by a wealthy man? A rich man? Well, money is nice, but it can't buy you everything. Most things, but not everything. Wait, when you say a wealthy man, doesn't that narrow down to Max? He's got no courage, no bravery. That's not attractive at all. Okay, a handsome man? Handsome man, well, looks are important, but there's more to a man than that. Well, which was it? It wasn't any of those. So you mean you don't get proposed to by anyone? No, I don't. What's wrong with me? I thought I was attractive. I've got a nice body, my face isn't bad, and my clothes, well, they're a little eccentric, I suppose, but aren't there a lot of guys who are into that? I don't know if there are a lot, but... Uh, no, there are definitely a lot of people who are into just, you know, flashy stuff. So why am I getting such a lousy fortune? Listen, Alicia, it's just a fortune. There's no guarantee that's how things are going to turn out. Just a fortune? Just a fortune? Are you saying I'm a fraud? My readings are always right. Oh, I didn't mean to doubt your fortune-telling skills. You're probably right. You're probably going to be single for life. What? How can you say that? You're so mean. It looks like I'm just going to keep digging myself deeper. Well, maybe you're right. Maybe my amazing prediction powers won't work on as well when I use them on myself. I'm glad I could be of help. <laughs> uh. Thanks, Cal. You're a good listener. But that means if I get married, I'll prove my own readings wrong. Think of my professional reputation. Isn't that quite a predicament? Fortune telling is a hard life sometimes. That's rough, buddy. Oh, Kyle, do you think you could go take this medicine to Barrett for me? To Barrett? Is he okay? Actually, it isn't for Barrett, it's for his father, Byron. Uh, oh, so Byron's the one who's sick? No, no, Byron's fine too, this is just some vitamins. Something to keep him in good health. I see, so then why is Barrett getting it for Byron? Well, to be honest, Barry worries about his dad. Barry? Ba Barrett. <laughs> After all, Byron's the mayor. He's always r busy with work. That'll eventually take its toll on his body. Barrett's a little bit of a quiet guy, and when he does talk, he doesn't have a way with words. I don't think he and his old man get on well. I know Barrett. He's my friend. He's a good guy. He just isn't good at letting his feelings show. That's why he comes off a little rude. Barrett asked that I give him this health it to my mother. What? To his father? I see. Well, oh, get this health it for my mother. Got it. Kyle, the reason I asked you this is because I want you and Barrett to become friends. I figured it would take some time, but the best way to start is to make you guys talk to one another. Okay, I'll go talk to Barrett. Health it. Health it! We're gonna read on this. Uh, here we go. Health it. Medicine that heals all status ailments. Packed with the latest health supplements. I think this might be the thing that Byron got from Natalie? Maybe? It is a cure-all. So if you're ever, like, poisoned or something, or, uh, paralyzed or sealed, this'll do it all. It's nice. It, it, it's, it's a <sighs> a really good item. I don't know why I'm yawning so much. It's a really good item. 
Parrot! What do you want? Hey, I asked Ray for this. Why do you have it? Ray asked me to bring it to you. Hmm, <laughs> that Ray. Barrett, you think your father's... You think about your father a lot, don't you? Of course I do. It's not like I hate him. I mean, sure, we fight sometimes, but that doesn't mean anything. Wouldn't it be better if you told him how you felt? I don't think it's any of your business. Sorry. We're two guys, okay? We don't need to be all huggy and emotional. Hmm, <laughs> if that's how you feel about it. Anyway, you've made your delivery. Tell Ray things for me. I will. Be good to Ray. He's a good guy. Listen to him if he asks for your help. Absolutely. He's a good guy, as are you, Barrett. How'd it go? Well, I gave him the health hit, but he, we didn't really talk that much. I see. Well, thanks anyway. It's not much, but take this in return. You got 200G. See if you can get a chance to know Baird a little more, Kyle. I'll try. You're kind of a strange guy, Kyle. Everyone just opens up to you. It is kind of odd how much that happens. But I'm happy for it. Going to the forest? I have something to take care of in the forest. If anyone is headed there, I'd like to talk to them first. I saw the bulletin board. What is it that you need me to do? Thanks for coming, and sorry for always bothering you. If it's not too much trouble, could you get me an apple? The apple grows in Trieste Forest, so I'd ask Cecilia, but I think it might be a little too dangerous for her. And Jake would probably just tell me to get lost. So you could possibly go get one for me, Kyle. Yeah, no problem. I'll get it for you. Thank you so much. I need to please go get me an apple from Trieste Forest. Sorry for always bothering you, Kyle. Alright. On Sylvie, we get here so freaking fast. It's also been a while since I've picked apples. I just never have a reason to come here. I should probably pick these soon and just plant something else. You went and got this for me, Kyle. You're a lifesaver. You're always so helpful, Kyle. Honestly, I wish Jake could learn something from you. This isn't much, but I want you to have it, for your troubles. 500G. Thank you so much. Okay, I'll see you later. Hello. Good afternoon. Oh, how are you feeling today? I'm feeling great. I want to live in a town that puts a smile on all the young ones' faces. That's respectable. Alright. A request from Barrett. I have something I want you to give to Dorothy for me. Come talk to me for details. <clears throat> what do you want? I'm here about your request on the bulletin board. Oh, that. I want you to deliver this to Dorothy. She dropped it, but I don't want to bother with returning it myself. I thought it'd be better to ask you since you're not doing much else anyway. Here, take it. Thanks. Receive the star pendant. Deliver that star pendant to Dorothy for me. Don't mess up. Okay. The star pendant. A pendant shaped like a star. Glitters as brightly as any star in the night sky. Intelligence up and body up. If we were to go and look at our stats, uh, instead of the Hachimaki, it would increase our defense, our magic attack, our magic defense, but lower our strength, so it would lower our attack. If we were to replace the charm, it would lower defense by one, or magic attack by three, or magic defense by three. Alright. And it has a light element, which means I believe that protects us from light. I think that's light. It might be earth. I think that's light. I always get which one's which, but I don't think we have any light enemies, so weird. Too bad. Hey, Dorothy. Hi. If Fern sees me with other dolls, she gets really jealous. I've never seen you carrying around any dolls other than Fern, Dorothy. Fern would get angry, but it's okay because I love Fern too. Okay. I found this. Or something. 
Oh, this, this is mine. That's right, you dropped this, didn't you, Dorothy? Barrett told me to bring it back to you. Yeah, yeah, thank you. And thank Barrett for me. I will. See you again soon, Dorothy. Okay. You're not feeling ill or tired. No, I'm not. Hello, half-elf. Dang it, Barrett left. What do you have to say? Hello, human. Hey, human, you've been here a while now. What do you think of me? I... I don't know. I think you're a good person. I think that you let your own personal bias get ahead of you, but you really... You're not a bad person. You just need to open up. You need to be more accepting. I understand the elves were hurt, and you've taken upon yourself to try to, you know, defend tradition and honor or whatever, but I'm not that person. The Empire typically is that people. <laughs> give me a break. You're not going to win me over with flattery, human. I like Jake well enough. Oh, hey, Byron. Hello, Kyle. Are you enjoying life in town, Kyle? Not who I was trying to talk to? No, it's pretty fun, but your work must be really demanding. Well, I suppose, but working with nature like you do must be so different to working with people like I do. Yeah, I guess so. How about we swap jobs for a day? Don't you think that'd be fun? Did you give it to Dorothy? Thanks. Dorothy told me to thank you, too. Really? She did? Well, here's your reward. Take it. Onion seed. Bye. Um, nothing else? You saved me a lot of work. <laughs> you don't want to, you don't want to tell me anything? And why you'd care that much about returning that pen? No, okay. Barrett is friendly with Dorothy, and honestly, the fact that he's that friendly with anyone means that, you know, he absolutely is friendly towards that person. So at 5.56, we're down to just Tanya's quests. We have cleared out our board for now. Tomorrow, there will be more. So, I guess I'll spend the rest of the day fishing. I... I'm just gonna fish here. Alright guys, next time on Let's Play Rune Factor 2, a Fantasy Harvest Moon. We keep... We'll keep working on all the girls and trying to get them all to love us, of course. We're slowly progressing through all the other townspeople's stories. Um, I think we're done with Jake, Barrett, Ray, maybe? Roy, um, I'm not sure who else. We've been through a lot of their stories at this point. We will unlock more quests with all of them later, but for this little first segment, the first year of the game, I'm slowly getting to the point where... I just, I'm good. Everything's good. I'm going to be doing, what I'm probably going to do is meet you guys back here on the first day of summer. I'm going to check my uh, calendar real quick to make sure there's nothing I'm forgetting. Yeah, there's nothing left to, that you have to do during the spring. And as such, I won't. I will meet you guys back on the first day of summer which is the start of summer, of course. I'll see you all then, and I hope you all have a fantastic day. Goodbye.